My name is Kathleen Hopewell and I'm the MPP Student Ambassador here at UNU Merit. And today I have the Swiss Ambassador to the Netherlands with me. And Mr. Ambassador, I'm just going to ask you four short questions. So to start, what advice would you give a young person looking to start their career in diplomacy? I think uh, one of the most important things is an open mind. Curiosity is very important. You should be ready to, to move every four years to another country, to immerse in another culture. Uh, you should be optimist. And you should uh, be convinced that uh, diplomacy is one of the main instruments to uh, settle disputes in a, in a peaceful way. What misconceptions about life as an ambassador would you like to change? Well, there are many misconceptions. I mean, there are also other professions with many misconceptions. One, perhaps, is that is a, a chat set life, mm. that, you, that mm -hmm. you are uh, hanging around with a glass of champagne and uh, well-dressed women and, and men mm -hmm. and talking, having small talks and doing nothing aside. Uh, this is not the reality. The diplomat is doing a work as, as anybody body else is his core business is international relations absolutely and the other perhaps a misconception is also the uh, immunity and what the consequences of immunity uh, that we have a lot of privileges and and so forth the main purpose of immunity is that you can work independently that you cannot put under pressure from the from the country you are you are serving that's interesting. I like that you chose those specifically. I think that those are good <laughs> ones to point out. Um, and my third question is, how do you feel that being an ambassador of Switzerland is different from being an ambassador of other countries? I mean, every country has is unique. Mm -hmm. And it's also the beauty of, of diplomacy that, that people are coming together who represent different countries. And the Switzerland is a medium-sized country in the middle of Europe, surrounded by friends. It's a very privileged situation now. Mm -hmm. It was in the past, not always like this, as we know. So uh, with, with a country I, I, uh, I'm, I'm very proud to, to represent uh, Switzerland. I, and I think most of my colleagues are also proud to represent their country. Of course, it makes a difference if you are representing bigger countries like China or, or, or US uh, compared to, to medium-sized or smaller countries. Um, but actually the, the business is, is, is very similar. Fantastic. And my final question for you is why are you prioritizing engagement with students at this point in your career? Uh, it is yeah, perhaps not special in this point of uh, my career, but I have three daughters between 27 and 31, so I'm, I'm, I really, uh, I'm still in a very good contact with the young generation. <laughs> And uh, I think it's uh, now I'm, I'm just uh, three months before my retirement. Uh, and I think it's, it's good to share my experience with the young generation. Also to inspiring in the sense that, that international relations is, is, is a fantastic and very interesting topic. And, and there are many, many uh, opportunities to, to work and to contribute to a better world. Uh, if you're working as a diplomat or if you're working in international organizations. Absolutely. I really enjoy that. And I think that it's really important to share that sort of knowledge. Thank you for that. It's very helpful. Um, and for, for me, it's also important to, to listen. I mean, I, I forgot to say that listening is, is actually more important than talking, I think. Because uh, before you talk, you should listen and, and, be, and, and think and then talk. <laughs> and, and also the, the contact with, actually you need to, to have a contact with all age groups to understand a society and also with all uh, levels of, of education. That reason why we're not elitist in that sense. So to have a good understanding of a country, you really need to have a, a full picture. And the new generation, uh, yeah, you, you will run the world. In, in, in the next 30 years. So uh, uh, also to know what, what are your questions and how you see the world as it is and, and, and what, what are your concerns is, is very important for me also to, to have this interaction. I think we, we should uh, work much more in uh, inter, 
intergenerational context. Fantastic. Thank you so much for taking the time today to answer these questions.